Actually, this story was from a conversation with my friend. When I first knew that the meal could be encrypted with a carbon, I was very surprised. So I just thought maybe there was a forgotten story behind this special carbon, and also the meal probably was a very important part for the soldiers in the American Civil War. So today, let's talk about the coffee meal carbon. When I first saw the meal, the first reaction was it should be a coffee meal. So maybe drinking coffee was also an important thing in the American Civil War. When I started to search for information, I found that this was true, since coffee had been a daily drink before the Civil War in most households. After the war broke out, coffee became a luxury. It still was a beverage that was carved by most soldiers. When Civil War history noted that the word. Coffee was used more often in Civil War soldiers' diaries and later at home than words like war, slavery, or Lincoln. Additionally, because of the war, the trading way between North and South was almost broken. Gradually, there was a situation: the overabundance of coffee in the North and the lack of coffee in the South. For the Union soldiers, they were lucky because at least every Union soldier still had 36 pounds. Of coffee a year, so it even make a balance and going into a friendship point between both sides of the soldiers in the war time. Possibly there was a kind of a coffee wagon that even appeared in the Civil War. Maybe this will be a good topic in our future video. If a Civil War soldier wanted to drink a cup of coffee, he would not be able to take instant coffee and water directly, just like us. In modern times, typically there were several necessary steps: roast green beans, grind beans, and add water and steep. In the battlefield, the containers for coffee beans were easy to find. Just a cup would be enough for roasting and steeping. The only hard point was to grind the beans. If they did not have a real grinder, although soldiers could use a rock, hammer, or the butt of their gun to smash the beans. This grinding way might have the same effect as good as a real coffee mill, but every soldier couldn't carry too many gears, so it seems that it made sense to equip a coffee mill in the gun stock. They could put the coffee beans into the inside grinder from the mouth on the bottom of the stock, but there still is a doubt. According to some history researcher training, it works, but not well for grinding the coffee beans. Plus, based on the pictures and the real collection in museums, auctions, and collectors, firearms with a coffee mill were probably not built too much. So there is a problem: is that really a coffee grinder in the carbon? If this is not a coffee mill, what will it be? So the other guess is that it was not a coffee mill, but a wheat or oat mill for horse feed. According to some information during the Civil War. A cavalry colonel in Springfield Armory came up with a new idea, which was to put a mill in the stock of a sharps carving to grind the feed. As noted by the Arsenal records, Lieutenant Colonel Walter King was on loan from the Fourth Missouri Cavalry to the site from 1864 to 65. As cavalry, the horses were very important congress for them, and feeding horses also was a very important work every day. So he just thought if he could add a manual mill to the stock on the standard point .52 caliber sharps carbine, it would be pretty good. In this idea, the hand crank should be detachable crank, and it could be encrypted on the right hand side. The horse chamber would dump wheat or oats in the opening at the bottom and grind them up for horse feed while on the move. If needed, because the mill would be enclosed in the stock, the chamber would not need to worry about the mill would lose and drop from the stock. Therefore, the gun was not only a weapon but also a tool to take care of their horses. Plus, the weight and oat are smaller than coffee beans, so it might work better than grinding coffee beans. Additionally, while making the video, I also found another gun with a mill, but it was a percussion cap long rifle. In the 1840s, it was before the Civil War. Okay, this is a carbine with a special meal story. And thank you for watching. Hope you can like this video. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.